Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann and Jesus Christ. Okay, brothers and sisters, you know the drill, you can skip this one before going further. Wicked, filthy, demonic scammers are in the comment section pretending to be me, using my name, my profile picture, begging for money, begging for money in the comment section, giving fake prophecies <coughs> about, uh, you know, what God said from what he didn't say. It is not me, because they're using my name and my profile picture. Um... Whenever I make a comment, Sister Carrie Ann, my name is in solid gray border. And I'm not in the comment section begging for money. All right. All my details, if you need to contact me or bless me, whatever. All my details are in the description box. All right, brothers and sisters. So I want to quickly jump into this because I needed to do this video from 2019. And we're in 2021, right? In 2019, the Lord gave me... A, a prophetic vision concerning um sadhu now I'd, i've done a vision sorry i've done a video about sadhu the, the false prophet sadhu all right um i will leave the uh, that video from 2019 link in the comment section and the description box i'll leave it pinned in the description box but equally brothers and sisters the lord gave me a vision about sadhu's health all right in 2019 and the only reason why i didn't the only reason why i did not do that uh vision or that video of sadhu straight away is because I, i've already done one and um and i thought to myself okay i've done that one you know that's enough you know brothers and sisters will get the gist but this vision that he gave me in 2019 is about Sadhu's health and what I saw Sadhu doing in the vision. Okay, so in this vision in 2019, brothers and sisters, I saw Sadhu in a room and he was sitting on a board uh, like a bench with the matching table. And as he sat there, he had his leg crossed. You know, like how you do yoga. So he had his legs crossed and his two hands like that. You know, the yoga business or they, whatever they do. All right. Okay. So that is what he was doing. And on the table was two books. One was the Bible and one was a strange book that I didn't know. As I walked in the room, brothers and sisters, um, Sadhu opened his eyes and he saw me. And when he saw me, he began to read something out of the book of Corinthians. And when he began to read in my spirit, I said, ah, he's a Christian. That's what I said to myself because he was reading from the Bible. And like I said, in my heart, I just said, oh, that is so good. Sadhu is a man of God. But then he stopped reading from the Bible and he began to read from a different book, which is a second book on the table. And it was not biblical. It was almost as if he was chanting. And this is what he kept doing. So we're reading the Bible and we're going back to the second book and we're chanting. So it was Bible and a second non-Bible, a chanting book. I'm going to call it a chanting book. All right. So this is what Sadhu was doing back and forth, back and forth um, in the position that he was sitting. He was wearing all white. All right. His clothes was all white. Um, he had on what appears, it wasn't, well, well, a long, I'll call it a skirt, a long skirt with a sash across his chest. All right, no shirt or anything like that. So just a skirt, a long skirt with a sash, with a white sash, um, tied up like in a rope, like a thick rope, made of the same cloth. All right, it's made of the same cloth, but it's in the in the in the shape of a rope across his chest. The vision then shifted, brothers and sisters, and when the vision shift, sorry, you know, my kids, and when the vision shifted. I saw Sadhu in a, in a room, okay? And a piece of paper, like an A4 size paper was on the table. And I look and I saw Sadhu 
as all he was or he is when he's preaching. He, he always wear this orange dress. I call it dress, you know, outfit dress or frock that he wears. Okay, so he was in his frock, all right, his orange frock. And um, same long hair, everything, okay. He picked up this A4 paper and because I was standing beside him, I could see, you know, what was on the paper. On the top of the paper, in big bold writing, it says his name, his full name, Sadhu Salvarage Medical Report. Then, just like, just like a medical report, you have his full name, date of birth, place of birth, and all of that. That was on the paper. Then at the bottom, it began to give the prognosis and the diagnosis of what is wrong with Sadhu. And two things I saw on the, um, on the A4 paper that came up. Number one, it was about his kidney. And as I began to read, because it was so close to me, brothers and sisters, and it read something in the form of, um, like I would say, the kidneys are not functioning properly then at the bottom it says the heart which is about his saddle's heart and it began to say the same thing that something is wrong with saddle's heart so from that medical report that he had in his hand brothers and sisters it was basically said that there's something that was wrong with saddle's kidney and saddle's heart now in real life I don't know anything about the man. I have no idea. Don't know no medical report, nothing at all. I'm just telling you from 2019 what I saw in the vision. And Sadhu was, read, hold on one second. Um, who's that? AJ? Okay, sorry, I thought it was my son. What is the iPad? Um, Sadhu, sorry, it's got a bit distracted because I've got, I've got my son's <laughs> iPad and he wants it. So, because I was using it before. Okay. So, um, so yes. So when Sadhu began to read his medical report, brothers and sisters, it was like, I don't know. He gave the impression to say, oh my days, I'm sick like he was in disbelief that something was wrong with his heart something was wrong with his kidney and then the vision shifted back and it was back with Sadhu doing his yoga thing that's what I can call it his yoga thing same position brothers and sisters with his hands you know folded with his legs folded and his yoga business out as all they meditate and he was reading from the bible and he was chanting so we're just he was still doing it and then the vision ended and um when i came out the vision brothers and sisters when i came out the vision i i knew that this man is false he's a false prophet all right now there are many many things that sadhu have said that is just not lining up with scriptures. Now, for one thing, he says that the Queen of England is a woman of God. Now, even if, even if you are a follower and you love Sadhu, that alone should raise your eyebrow. Because we know who the serpentine bloodline is. And once you've got the serpentine bloodline in you, that's it. You are called to do the work of the enemy. So to come and say that the queen is a woman of God, a woman of God, brothers and sisters, that is just so questionable. And then Sadhu went on to say that Mr. Babylon or Babylon is found in Iraq, that the United States of America, even though the USA is in Revelation 18 and Revelation 17, and Iraq, think about it, Iraq do not fit the description of Revelation 17 and 18. Iraq don't have the most music in the world. They're not the richest country. They don't do money transaction. That's USA. That's, that's New York. 
and for Sadu Salvage, or whatever his name is, Sadu, let me just stick to Sadu, and for Sadu to be preaching that crap, because that's what it is, crap, it is filth, to the people of God, making them believe that it is Iraq that is Babylon. It's not true. We're not talking Nebuchadnezzar Babylon, because that's the Old Testament, and that's been destroyed. And the Lord said that, you know, Babylon in that era will never be re rebuilt. It's biblical. But Mr. Babylon, because when John was given the prophetic word in Revelation, America was not in infusion yet. He, he, he didn't know what it, he didn't know America was America. Because that was not revealed to him. So he called it Mr. Babylon because it operated like ancient Babylon. It's just a change of location. That's all it is. So for Sadu to say that America is not Babylon, he is lying. That's a lying spirit right there. And not to mention the big, massive, oh, wow, oh. I don't know if he's repented. I don't know if he comes out because I don't watch him. I don't know if he's, he has come out and said to his followers, look, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. But to sit up there and lie on the Lord, lied on the most high yeah saying that god said donald trump would win and it didn't happen i don't know like i said i don't know if he came out and he said to his followers look i got it wrong i am sorry i don't know but i know that he came out and he was up in arms about trump it's all about Trump feeding the flocks these lies about Donald Trump. And oh, God said he's going to win. That again is another red flag, brothers and sisters. That's another red flag from Sadhu. And the fact that 15 or 16 times a day he visits Father Abraham. Every two minutes he's with Father Abraham. Him and Father Abraham. And for the fact, and for the fact... That he says that the presidents of America is sitting in heaven. <sighs> People wake up. People please ask the Lord to show you the truth. If not, some of you are going to end up in hell for believing lies. The Bible said anybody, anyone who believes a lie is thrown into the lake of fire. You will not ever, ever enter heaven and believe in a lie. Even if it's really small and tiny. Because the Lord is coming back for a church without spot or blemish. So for the fact that Sadhu is up in the pulpit telling the people that Abraham Lincoln and all these wicked United States of America presidents, they're all sitting. George Bush and all, you know, Cena, they're all sitting up in heaven. That's what he said. That the American, then he visit them in heaven. The man is working with, he's a necromancy. That's the reason why I saw him in the vision, sitting, doing yoga, reading from the Bible and chanting. He's, he's, he's dual. He is dual. He doubles in, in Christianity, but he doubles in the whatever religion he believes in. He's dual, brothers and sisters. I am telling you, he's dual. And um, so, you know, brothers and sisters, you have to wake up. You have to learn to wake up and test the spirits. They speak truth and they speak lies. That is what they do. And to top it all off, and I always said that any pastor, they're all wicked. Any pastor you see up in the pulpit telling you that the political state, Israel, is a true biblical seed of yeah, their line. Sadhu, Selfridge, and john no what is his, what's his name john hagee them two salvage sadhu and john hagee those two are like peas in a pod when it comes to the political state fake israel nobody um glorified the political state like them two sadhu israel seed of god those are where god nothing bad about israel oh israel is is, is and it's a lie they're not dead. Oh, brothers and sisters, please wake up. All these wicked pastors in the pulpit telling you all these that this is a lie. The man is lying. Sadhu Salfridge, or whatever his surname is, okay? The man is a false prophet. Wake up. 
let me repeat one more time i think it's in revelation 20 or 21 where the bible says anybody don't care who you are don't care who you are the bible doesn't care about that but anybody who believes a lie a lie if you believe if you receive a lie from a false prophet and you believe that you are going to go to hell you are going to go to hell revelation 21 verse 8 revelation 21 and verse 8 says but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers <laughs> and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars hmm? not some not some brothers and sisters not some all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone Babel doesn't lie all liars every single one of the everybody that tells a lie you say all these pastors this is why i did that video about tb joshua i'm going to do a second video about him in a bit in a minute but anyways you know all liars all liars read revelation 21 verse 8 all all liars not some liars all of them every single one of them who lied on yah is going to go to hell and for you to believe the lie you are a liar because you're repeating what the false prophet is saying so sadhu sulfur said oh the queen of england is a woman of god you repeat that oh yeah the queen you're lying this is why it's important you don't follow false prophets these people lie because at the end of the day they are working for satan they're not of yah they don't even know who the true biblical Christ is. Because if they knew who the true biblical Christ is, they would know who the 12th seed of Jacob's, Jacob is. They would know that the fake political state down there, Israel, it is not the 12th seed. It is not the 12 tribes. They know that. When, they, when these wicked pastors pick up their Bible and they go to Deuteronomy 28... And they begin to read Deuteronomy 28. They would say, oh, yes, this is the true Hebrew Israelites. These are the ones who went into slavery. We, the people in the Caribbean, America, Brazil, Aboriginals in, 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 in Australia, you know, the Africans in France, Spain, all over the world. The descendants of Abraham, but no, they conjure up. It hurt, brothers and sisters. It's a very artful process, this is. Because the children of Jacob has been through so much. And to hide us and these wicked pastors, that, these wicked, evil pastors, give another nation our heritage. They're wicked. Sadhu is wicked because he knows the truth. He knows that the, that the political Israel down there, it is not them. They're not the 12 tribes of Jacob. They did not go through slavery. Neither did their ancestors. They were in chains, in their, on their necks and shackles. It wasn't them. And for these wicked pastors to day in and day out in the pulpit, preaching this wicked lie, the Bible says, all liars like Sadhu, Gino Jenin, Cruffalo Dollar, Benny Hinn, Wicked John Agee, T.D. Jakes, Paula White, who else? Jamal Bryant at the moment, even though Jamal Bryant is going to switch eventually because I saw it in the video, in the vision, and maybe Cruffalo as well because I saw that in the vision, right? Um, what's his name? Demonic. Oh, we're going to say Capleton. Capleton is our regular singer. It's not Capleton, sorry. Um, I have to mention his name. Uh, that one with the devil eyes. Oh, what's his name? I'm seeing his face. I'm seeing his face. Oh, God, I 
to remember his name. I'm sorry, brothers and sisters. It's, I have to call his name. I must call his name. Devil, you're a liar. Unblock my man. Unblock my man, Satan. Remove, remove. Go away. Um. Copeland. Kenneth Copeland. Wicked Kenneth Copeland as well. And all of them. All of them who preach up in the and the small churches as well. It's not only the mega preachers. It's not only them. TB Joshua is dead now. He's he's a big one as well. It's TB. He's a, he's a liar. I hope he makes it in. I don't know. But he's I'm gonna do a second video on him anyway in a bit. But all these wicked people up in the pulpit preaching this lie, they're gonna to go to hell. And I can confidently say that because they're liars. Israel, that fake political state, it's not them. They're not the seed of Yah. It is not them. Yes, people, the true Hebrew Israelite, the biblical seed of Father Abraham, like I said, they're scattered. They're in the Caribbean. They're in America. Brazil. Australia, Ireland, believe it or not, Ireland, Mexico, <laughs> all over the place. But God, but it's okay, carry on, you wicked pastors. If you don't come and tell the truth, you know, Yah is going to have you. And yes, they're false, the whole lot of them, fake and false, and God is not with them. How can he be? It doesn't matter how much truth they speak. They can speak because that's how Satan is. He speaks truth and lie. And it doesn't matter how much truth you speak. If you speak one lie and lead God's people astray, you're going to go to hell. This is the reason why on the day of judgment, they were saying to the Lord, Father, haven't I not cast out demons in your name? Haven't I not feed the poor? Haven't I do? And, and God said, I never knew you. I never knew you. That's simple as. I never knew you. Prepare for the lake of fire because you're too wicked. You're too lie. Stop preaching about the fake Israel. It's not them. Start teaching people about the true Israel. The true Israelites. The biblical he, um, Hebrew Israelites. This is not a case. All right, okay. Since I'm on the Israelites, some of you dumb down Christians, right? Some of you who you're just into your pastors. Everything your pastors say you believe. All right. You said one of our posts about the true biblical 12 tribes of Israel. You come on my page and you said, ah, oh, Sister Karen, your false prophet, it doesn't, your false prophetess, it doesn't matter. Really? Hold on, brothers and sisters, the kids. Hold on. Right. P please. The noise. Don't come. Don't, don't peep. <laughs> don't peep. The noise is too much, AJ. Please. All right. I'm just doing this quick video. I'm almost finished now. Right. Here you go. All right. Okay. Please close the door. Thank you. You done? No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> oh, Lord. What are you doing? No, I'm not done. Right, brothers and sisters, I've even lost my train of thought. Okay, yeah. I was saying, okay, some of you come on here defending your wicked pastors, the demonic pastors in the pulpit. And you defend them, and, oh, Sister Carrie Ann, you don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we, it, it doesn't matter about the 12 tribes, really. Really? You really think it doesn't matter? If it doesn't matter, yeah would not have the 12 tribes um, with the 12 gates in heaven. It wouldn't. So it does matter. There's a reason why I have the 12 tribes up there in glory. There's a reason why I go read the Bible. Go read the Bible in Revelation. I forgot what, what scripture is. Why is it that the Lord has the 12 tribes, the 12 gates up there in glory? There's a reason for it. Because he's a God of order. He's a Yah of order. Now when you manipulate the scripture and use a different nation 
Because that's what they're doing. When you use a different nation and present it to the world and said, here you go. This is Israel. This is the biblical. You're lying. And the Lord will not accept that because he's not going to accept a fake nation as a true Israelite because he's made a promise to Father Abraham. Go and read Deuteronomy 28. You will find the true seed of Yah. When you read it, you will understand that the true Hebrew Israelite, the apple of Yah's eye, eyes are the people who went on the transatlantic slave ship. Many, 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 many of them are left back in Africa. That's why Bill Gates and the wicked fallen angel always targets Africa. They put AIDS in Africa. They put syphilis in Africa. They put Ebola in Africa. They put, um, what's the mosquito one? The M1, I forgot the name, right? All these man-made plagues they put down there in Africa. But let me tell you something, a day, a day of reckoning is coming to these wicked Gentile people. I am telling you. And if you don't wake up from these wicked preachers, and stop believing the fake state Israel, you're going to be in trouble. Because when the second exodus happened, and you are not in that second exodus, because why? You know, the slaves, the slaves could never be Hebrew Israelites. It's not them. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyways... Brothers and sisters, Sadhu is fake and he's false. You need to come out of his ministry. I'm exposing these wicked people. Yes, I know every time I do exposure, I'm heavily attacked. It doesn't matter because my treasure is in heaven. I get my reward from the Most High. Yeah. Hallelujah. But it is time for you to wake up. I so want you to be in the second exodus, brothers and sisters. It would give me, you don't even understand, great joy. And pleasure to know that you make it to the wilderness. To know that you make it in the second exodus. To know that you have escaped the mark of the beast. But if you're not there. If you find out that, uh oh, God has taken his people. We are not there. You have to face, you have to face the wrath of the Antichrist. It's that simple. Well, you believe the false prophets, didn't you? That's what you believe. You didn't believe the Bible. You didn't believe this channel. Okay? So, it is what it is, brothers and sisters. You've got to wake up. So, I wanted to come and do this video about um, fake false sadhu. All right? Who's up there in the pulpit carrying on silly in his frock. He needs to take that frock off and go and trim his hair. That's what he needs to do. And stop pretending. And furthermore, you know, this all... What do you call it? This all um, appearance. You might say, well, Sister Karen, is this culture. Culture. Renew your mind over culture any day. That's how I see it. So if it's, if it's your culture, you see, you have to be very, very careful, brothers and sisters. Because on the death judgment, you cannot say to the Lord, Lord, as a man, that is, if you're a man, you cannot say to the Lord, well, Father, the reason why I wear a dress is because of my culture. Well, the Bible says that a man should not wear a woman's apparel. And the Bible is very, very clear, brothers and sisters. There has to be a distinction. The Bible says that a man should not have long hair. You know, well, it's a culture. Renewing your mind over culture. The Bible is very plain. The Lord is not. The Bible said, the God says, heaven and earth is going to pass. But my word, his word is not going to pass because that's what he's going to use to judge. Wake up. Wake up, people. I am telling you, you have to learn to wake up in these last times, in these last days. All right. So I just wanted to come and um, yes, when I, you know, I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, I'm very passionate about Israel. I'm really, really, really passionate. Not Israel, I'm not talking the fake state. I'm, I'm passionate about the 12 scattered tribes all over the world. I'm really passionate about them. 
and I have to, I know I can't wake up everybody, but at least some people are beginning to wake up to the truth of who they are, of who their ancestors are, that we are the people of the book. We are the people of the Bible, but it's been hidden by the Gentile, by Esau. So anyways, brothers and sisters, be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High Yah, who lives above the heavens. Yah eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon. Someday in glory, in Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen, amen, blessings, amen. Let's say the benediction together. This is Jude chapter 1. This is Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. We are agreeing with what Brother Jude says. Hallelujah of who our great God is, of who our uncreated Yah is. Hallelujah. So just Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25, the Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.